Evolutionists claim that the Earth is millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that it is 6,000 years old, that there was a worldwide flood approximately 4,500 years ago in which wet mud layers were laid down. Those wet mud layers then dried out into hard sedimentary rock that we see today, many of these layers containing fossils. Now, this is a picture of the Canadian uh, Niagara Falls. The American Falls would be to the left. This is the Canadian side of what's called the Horseshoe Falls. Now, these were world famous even 200, 300 years ago. Now, this is a diagram of the falls. So here's the American Falls, which don't look very pretty, frankly, uh, on the left. And over here are the Horseshoe Falls of the Canadian side. That's the pretty ones. Now, I want to introduce you to a man, Charles Lyell. He was a Scotsman who, of course, was living in England. He was trained as a lawyer. But his writings became famous as he wrote about geology, interestingly enough. And he was the person who promoted uniformitarianism, that the things that occur today have acted uniformly throughout in the eternal past, and that only the god of random chance has created what we see today. Now, he published his series of the geology of the Earth from 1830 to 1837. This earned him a pretty good amount of money. And in 1840, he would then go to the United States, and he wanted to see Niagara Falls because it was world famous already. And so he went there. Now, here we see a diagram of the falls. Now, this dotted white line that we see up here at the top, this is the place, the sort of drop off to the flat area here. And the gorge of the Niagara River eats into this cliff material and travels all the way back today to what is today the Niagara Falls place. Now, everybody knows that the river was eroding this gorge. And Lyle came there, and he looked at the length of the gorge. Now, today, the falls have been stabilized, so they're not continuing to erode as they were at that time. But when he visited in 1840, the, the gorge was clearly known to have been eroding from the escarpment there, the cliffs at the front, all the way back. Now, at the time that he visited in 1840, uh, the gorge was 35,000 feet long. Now, Lyell did not believe the Bible. Uh, he believed that things occurred slowly and gradually over long periods of time. And he did some math. He said, well, if it's only 35,000 foot long, um, how old is it? Well, instead of measuring what was going on and telling the truth, he speculated and said, well, I believe that it has only been eroding at one foot per year. That would make the age of the falls 35,000 years old. It would make it older than the Bible says the earth is, of course, and it would refute the biblical teaching. However, we now know today the falls at the time he visited were eroding into the rock layers at three foot per year. Now, if you do math, uh, well, 35,000 and three foot per year, well, that means that, uh, well, actually, this is going on for less than 12,000 years. But if you then factor in that after the worldwide flood of Noah, these layers of sedimentary rock were fresh, wet mud. Now, fresh, wet mud is going to erode much faster than hard rock. And so when you factor in that the uh, water would have been cutting through here much faster initially and then slower as the wet mud layers solidified, you can see that this falls well within less than 5,000 years, consistent with the Bible, a worldwide flood only about 4,500 years ago. You really can trust the Bible.